A game changer for college sports. Today, California's governor signed into law a bill that allows college athletes to make money from the use of their images. Now, previously, the NCAA threatened to exclude California universities from championship competition if that bill was passed, saying it would give them an unfair recruiting advantage. News 8's Amanda Shotsky joins us now live from SDSU with reaction from the university's athletic director. Amanda? Well, the bill was signed into law today, this despite repeated calls by the NCAA for the governor to veto it. As you mentioned, while some argue this could give California an unfair recruiting advantage, others like students and pro athletes, they're calling this a big win. With the swipe of a pen and a round of applause, California Governor Gavin Newsom changes the game when it comes to student athletes making money. And it's going to change college sports for the better. A clip released Monday from LeBron James's HBO show The Shop Uninterrupted shows the governor signing Senate Bill 206, otherwise known as the Fair Pay to Play Act, a move that will allow college athletes in California to hire agents and make money from endorsements, just like the pros. Finally, an entire group of U.S. athletes um, are going to get to have the voice and the representation and the ownership of their identities um, that everybody else has. Former Stanford volleyball player Haley Hodson has been a major proponent of the bill and says she expects other states to pass similar legislation. This is the place for this movement to begin, absolutely. But some say the new law is not a slam dunk. San Diego State Athletic Director John David Wicker called it too open-ended and a direct conflict with the NCAA rules. If they do the deal and receive compensation, they're ineligible per NCAA rules, so they can't compete anymore. The law doesn't go into effect until 2023, but Warwick called today's developments a sign of the times, hoping that all sides can come up with a winning game plan. Come 2023, yeah, I think we'll have a reasonable solution. Going to the outside. And the NCAA did release a statement saying as a membership organization, the NCAA agrees changes are needed to continue to support student athletes, but improvement needs to happen on a national level through the NCAA's rulemaking process. Unfortunately, this new law already is creating confusion for current and future student athletes, coaches, administrators, campuses and not just in California. Now back out here live, there could be challenges to this law, but as we mentioned, there is some time. It's not set to take effect until 2023. Back to you. Amanda, thank you.